What's going on, everybody? Joshua Pennard here, and welcome back. Um, this is another... Hi, everyone. Damn it, this is another video. Now, you can already tell this video looks a little weird. Doesn't it? As you can see, me... A little bit. You can see me on one side. I'm gonna move my camera down. See me. You can also see the, the weird old Robbie. Hi. Yeah. It's me. So... Robert Vincent McCory the Fourth. Yeah. So as you saw recently, we uh we made a video. We we tried to play Uno. And it it didn't go entirely well. And I was really It didn't go too well. I was fairly upset about that. You saw that in the video after the Uno video. It it so, didn't turn out well. It, it didn't it didn't. But I had an idea for redemption. Now this idea I also borrowed from a channel. Uh, from a guy named Gus Johnson, and uh, this idea is yeah. this video. We're going to be reviewing small town bar and bar and grill places. So we're going to be looking at reviews, and we're going to be reacting to them and see how they uh, they go. Because we thought this would yeah. be a lot better, and it isn't less harmful on either of our computers. More rubbies than mine, but still. <laughs> yeah, mostly mine. <laughs> it's. It's a lot better. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's get right into it with the reviews. Alrighty. So up first, we uh, as you can see on the side of us. Now it's different. The way you guys are seeing it on the side of us are these uh, cool reviews. Wait, Robbie, am I screen sharing with you? Um, and right now you are not. No. Oh, okay. Hold on. We'll be right back. I gotta I gotta do that. Okay. And we're back. All right. We are back! Is, Hope you didn't miss us. This is, okay, it's recording. Just making sure. So as you can see, next to us, there's still stuff. I can't screen share with him. But I'll just read them. And Robbie, you'll be able to look at the uh, video after and see. Anyway, let's get into oh, yeah. this with the uh, the first one. This is from uh, Joe Donnelly. It says, Waitress All was right. good. The food sucked. Don't know how to cook a steak or not cook it near seafood. So the steak had seafood tastes. Oh, that's kind of nasty. <laughs> cook well done. C cook well done on one side and pretty much raw the other half. I think I meant to say cooked. Right here, cooks well done on one side. Um, let's see. <laughs> I think the Jacob McKenzie left a poor review, one star, and said, I think this entire oh, place boy. and experience can be summarized in one word. Meh. Service is, service is friendly at first, then disappears or disappoints. Food is subpar at best. Atmosphere is pretty sketchy. <laughs> it's pretty sketchy. <laughs> and has been uncomfortable at times, whether the temperature, other customers, or the staff themselves. Oh, and I hope you're ready to wait, and all prices don't feel worth it. We won't be back. Ouch. And apparently the rest, of the, review, apparently the rest of the review says you need an ID or something. Better make sure you have oh, your boy. ID. Are we talking about uh, a right? Um, uh, yes, there was one near me. You're not supposed to say it, but whatever. What did you say? <laughs> you you weren't you weren't supposed to say the place, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. That's fine. Here's a very short review from Edward. Edward Richards. The food was not good at all, except for the appetizer. Sums that up. Uh, That's pretty simple. Yeah. Bo Bobby. <laughs> Bobby Jelly. That's a... Okay. Bobby Jelly. <laughs> Found a hair in my food and the manager there still wanted me to pay for the meal. Just check your food before you eat it. That's kind of gross. Well, it's just one hair, I, I guess. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> At least he didn't find, like, a lot of hair. You know, like, a whole lock of it in there. Hmm. Larry Delaney. Here, this is a weird one because this review starts off good, but then like it's like weird. It's like fish was hot and tasty, so it sounds pretty good, right? He left. A, well, this is yeah, one star, by the way. He left one star. Fish was hot and tasty. Vegetables were cold. We ordered a a wine, not wine, a wine, and then <laughs> we we're told they were, they were out of it and recommended we order the ex the more expensive one. 
I ask what they provide. Oh, whoops. Damn it. <laughs> I <laughs> asked that they provide the expensive wine at the same price, which most good restaurants do. We were told that was not possible. Shady business practice to sell more expensive wines. Service very bad. Our waitress put the wrong table number on our order and resulted in another server wandering around trying to figure out whose order it was. Nice. Had to ask twice for, to get a water refill. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Now that, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. If you have to ask multiple times for water, that's not good. But you know what, Josh? What? The fish was hot and tasty. It was. You have like a grievance about the fish there, don't you? Didn't you say it tasted like plastic? Or it was like eating plastic or something? Oh, no, that was my mom. She ate fish oh. there and there was a literal piece of plastic in it. Oh. Oh. Like a whole big chunk, like this big. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got another one up to bat from a different place. I used to like, uh, this is from Cami Golub from, with one star. It says, I used to like coming to this bar, but tonight was a very big disappointment. The bartenders were rude, grabbed beers out of my hand, and were dressed disgustingly. Will not be coming back. Very disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed too. <laughs> How dare you! This is this next one's from Ed McDonald, who left 143 reviews. Not at this Why? One, not at this one bar, just in general. This is just reviews he's oh. in general. That's still kind of weird though. But this is from over a year ago, and he said one star, just another old smelly beer bar. <laughs> Bro left that in every single one. I'm not even joking. <laughs> There's another one. John Doe is a local. He's a local guide. He. And it just says one star. There's nothing else. There's no text. Just one star. Just one star? Yep, just one star. It's not good. It's not good. I don't know why it's not good, but it's just not. Yeah. There's actually a lot of these that are like one or two star, but they're just like, there's just no context. But there is one. Eniki Amenera. Uh, two stars. Bad dive. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these? There's a lot of like low star reviews. Here's here's one that's actually uh here's a here's a here's a good review. Oh, so, this is a four star. Great place to have a beer with friends. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Crack open a cold one with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, five stars. Awesome place. Good food and free pool tables on Tuesday. Awesome bar. Tender. Clean. Very clean. Pretty cool. This always helps. For some reason, there's also pictures. Apparently, you can leave pictures on reviews. I didn't know you could do that. Um, that let's see. Can we find another terrible review? Um, it, yeah, this this one. Well, it's not one star, but it's three stars. But I can't understand it. This is from Rhonda Smith. One dollar. She left three stars. One dollar did it. Equios? Equios? I don't know what that means. Haven't tried the food. Be careful pulling in because it has a blind curb. What? I love how she hasn't even had the okay. full experience. I love how she hasn't even had the full experience, but she's still just like shitting on it anyway. But she didn't leave one star. I... She left three stars because she's fair. <laughs> I know, right? Like, thank you for the warning? I can only assume. But, um... Alright, now we're at another bar. Uh, we're on pause, by the way, Robbie. We're at another bar from Lauren Naylor. Not much, of a, not much of a bar. It always closed when open closes early. Oh, also, this is a cool new thing. This is a new thing we've come across. Now, the owner can actually leave responses to reviews for, like, constructive criticism. So oh. the owner of this place actually responded to this one. So, not much of a bar. It's always closed when open closes early. And uh, the response from the owner was, "We apologize. In this tough time, it is hard to be fully hard to be fully staffed. I think that means to say staffed. Hard to be fully staffed." He, he has a good point. There's a lot of businesses right now. Yeah. Now they don't have a lot of workers. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> this restaurant. Is, okay. Uh, this keep is, at it, man. <laughs> this is from Jim Norton. One star. 
This restaurant is horrible. It only gets one star because I can't give it zero star and still leave review. My wife and I went there, had to see it ourselves after one waitress kept ignoring us. Once we sat down, we got no service. We've sat for 10 minutes with no service. The waitress walked by twice without any contact. Also, after looking around, I saw that all but one table was occupied. Had no food on them. <laughs> that was red flag. This restaurant is horrible. I never... I never return. It won't be open long. On my one visit, Wait, it's a I restaurant. Saw... Huh? So it's a restaurant that doesn't provide food. I guess not. Um, it won't be open what? long. On one my on my one visit, I saw two tables get up and leave because of having no service. Damn. Well, you know, the only reason they're open is because they're doing something shady. Yeah. Here's a here's a short and simple review from Kent Peterson. Bad food and worse service understaffed. And he left one star. Well damn. Alrighty. Short and sweet. Alrighty then. Uh let's see. Um um uh Mary Nunya Nunya. Nunya. Um Mary Nanya left one star. Slow to get food. Fish wasn't cooked, but waitress was very sweet. Alright. Fish probably cooked, but I mean, sushi, I guess? Baby Barry likes sushi. I guess. Uh, from Bridget Trabitz or Chubby or something. Um, one star, walked out, too expensive. <laughs> uh, the response from the owner is just like, it's like, I don't know, it feels kind of passive aggressive. Sorry to hear you thought we were expensive. I do hope you come back and try it. It is worth it, kindly, tanly. It's like, yeah, I know you think that it's too expensive, but come back anyway and get it anyway. <laughs> I just well, see if I see what I, I would just like, seriously, like, pull back and be like, no heart. <laughs> <laughs> no heart. Even if it didn't make any sense, just no heart. <laughs> There's a review from a guy named Nick Fredrickson. He left no contacts and one star, and the owner responded. <laughs> what? The owner said, we would, love, we would like to apologize that you did not enjoy your visit. I would like to know more on what you did not like so I can adjust the issues with my staff kindly. And then it says the name, Tammy. Very cool owner. I'm this, glad you care about your store. This is from Marta Nelson. Two two stars. I uh, said food not that great. Onion rings over fried and tasted like old grease. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nasty. I don't blame her there. Yeah, this is from Sh Shonda Jersey, and she's also a guide. And she said hotel breakfast could have been better. Wait, hotel breakfast. Is, is, is she referring to, like, another business, but she's just, like, shitting on this one because the other business is bad? No, she's talking about, like, have you ever been to, like, a hotel and they have, like, a free breakfast? Yeah. You go down there and, like, they give you, like, weird same bottles. And, like, well, yeah, but this isn't a hotel. This is a bar. It's, like, a bar and restaurant. Yeah, but she's just saying, she's just saying, like, I don't know, this crap food is still better than your restaurant. So, like, you know, you're trash. <laughs> <laughs> You're trash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's uh let's let's hop to uh, another place. Okay, and we're back. Now this time we're looking at a bar in an interesting place. We're looking at a bar in Detroit. If you guys yeah. know Detroit, you know Detroit, and I don't know if we have any viewers from Detroit, but it's a bit of an interesting place. So we're gonna look at this bar, see how see how good the stuff is. Jeff Dembsk, um, said new ownership and menu. It's he said he said one star. Oh, oops. Ordered in and out smash burger. Received dry performed patty, unseasoned but cooked to requested temp. In no way would I consider this a smash burger as advertised by menu. Place now feels like a chain. That ain't a smash burger. Place now. That's just like that's just like. A slap. Not a smash burger. It's like a squish burger, like a slap burger. A squish a burger. A spank burger. 
place now feels like a chain restaurant, sad legacy of once Detroit staple, lower quality, higher price. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like this one. Ben. The, this guy was in the field. Like, he looks like sad. Yeah. Ben Flood. Literally, one star. Literally never got water. Ash so many times, it was crazy. They had good food, but your boy was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> My man was thirsty, dude. But yeah, he was thirsty. He boy got <laughs> Like, what the heck? Boy gotta keep his hydration. Hydration is key. I don't get this next one. Majid Al Zubi. One star. They close their doors at 11, which doesn't make sense. I feel like bars are usually open a lot later, and I think even 11's kind of like pushing the envelope. Maybe like a usual time is like midnight, but still. I, I, I feel like that wouldn't be too great. Hmm. Yeah, 11. I feel like they usually open to like 1, honestly. Really? A lot of I feel like area. Maybe. I don't I don't go near bars a lot, so <laughs> Alrighty. Um here's another very straightforward one. Kathy Morton. One star. Food and service are terrible. There you go. Short to eat. <laughs> this is a funny one. W Golden Eagle Production for some reason. One star. Never visited. Place looks great from the pictures. <laughs> he didn't even see the place, but he thought it looked great. This is like the complete opposite they, of that other review where she shat on it, but like gave it a high review. This is the opposite. He thought it looked good, but still reviewed it poorly. Yeah, like one is like I've never been here. It looks cool, <laughs> but you know what? You ain't one star. Yeah. This is a uh, from Mike. Just Mike. Nothing else. Just Mike. Um, one star. Mike. Gr gross bathrooms. Mike doesn't like gross bathrooms. I I don't either. Mike is a friendly dude. Yeah. Mike is a really funny dude. Yeah. Uh, this is from Simone, Simone, or Simon P. Two stars. When at lunch, service was very slow and food was subpar. Okay. Uh, this is from Lolita Granger. Two stars. Hot. There was no air conditioning in the back room. Yeah. Yeah, that yep, that's bad. Wait, why were you in the back room? Is it a worker? No, it's a guide. <laughs> what is she doing? Yeah, what, what was he doing back there? What are you doing? Or what was she doing back there? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and the owner replied, and he didn't say anything about, like, what the hell are you doing in the back room? <laughs> I know, I was <laughs> the reply, I was like, what the heck are you doing back there? Yeah. Um... <laughs> This guy's name, Dre Da Boss. Da Boss. Yeah. Two stars, service sucks. Okay. <laughs> you just yeah. don't like? Yeah, I guess, I guess not. Um, uh, d um, Louis, a lot of these are like two star. There's another one that's like two star, no content, but still a response from the owner. I don't. I don't get that. I wouldn't respond to those. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's move on to uh to another bar. All right. This is a. This is another bar. This is very much down south. Uh. First review. Thunder rolling. One star. The place is a. The place is a zero. The only person who provides good food service is Olga. <laughs> you, Olga. <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> Alexis Roland, stay away from this place. It's not good for you, trust me. How <laughs> <laughs> did hurt him? I don't know, man. Brian Delph. This played hurt him. Brian Delph, one star, mostly a hole in the wall. What? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Actually, there isn't too many one-star reviews. There isn't really a lot of reviews on this place at all. <laughs> this is Charles Crittenden. Uh, three stars, dead. Beautiful dar bartender. <laughs> I guess there was a bartender that he cool. really liked. Yeah, that's, I guess so. That's cool. A lot of these don't even have any content. <laughs> what 
What the hell? Just like nothing again? Yeah, I can't find anything funny. Um, uh, I can't. Not nothing. Nothing. What the hell? Well, that's. Huh. Well, that's. There's nothing weird. You know what? We'll go to another bar because this bar was kind of sucky. Here we go. This is this is a good one. This is good. All right. All right. This is from Robin Heltz. One star. Crab cakes were missing the meat. Flat and cold like the rest of our meals might be a good place to grab a drink, but I definitely don't re recommend going here to eat dinner. If the crab cakes back home far surpass the crab cakes on Maine's coast, something is seriously wrong. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that is kind of that is kind of bad. Something is seriously wrong with the crab. Okay, this here. one, this next one, I don't think is the business's fault. They do not accommodate people with seafood allergies. Any professional establishment would be able to tear, would be able to terrible all around. There isn't punctuation, so the sentence here. sounds weird. Yeah, it's a seafood restaurant. It's a seafood restaurant. And besides, I remember when we when we ate at this place, there was actually options for people that. Like corn seafood. There was like actual like stuff you could get. I remember. Yeah, ch chicken fingers. What are you talking about? Yeah, they have like chicken, and I, I think they even have like mac and cheese and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like, guys, I'm allergic to seafood. Let's go to a seafood. Yeah, let's go to a seafood. Go to seafood. <laughs> let's go to a seafood restaurant. This is better because we've me and Robbie went to this restaurant. We've been to this place, so this yeah, it's good. Um. <laughs> L Limey Stanivicious. One star. Ordered scallops and they brought six pieces and bunch of fries for 27 bucks. <laughs> That's not a lot of scallops. What can I say? Yeah. See, it would be expensive. <laughs> Dylan Lahar. Overpriced. Might as well cook your own food because theirs is trash. He's just straight up roasting this company now. <laughs> I like this dude though. Yeah, this dude's got it. He's got it set. Um Let's see. <laughs> Mikhail Paquette, one star, lol empty lobster. My friend paying me friend paying me friend is paying thirty dollars for it. There's literally they had like nothing in a lobster and they like got charged obscene amounts for it. They got a shell, like an empty shell. Yeah, this is a good one. Let's, this is a good one to end us off on. Uh, Dan Turner, one star. Turn around and run away fast. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Robbie? Why? That bad. I, I guess so. I guess so. Okay, so. I think that'll be about enough to wrap this up because we've been doing this for about like twenty minutes, so this will be our really? long yeah this will be our longest video, like ever. Oh well, wow. yeah, that'll be pretty long. But uh, anyway, if you I have an idea it. actually. Really? We pause. No, we're not. Well, pause. Okay. Okay, and we're back. We're recording now, Robbie. And uh, he told me a good idea, and I think we'll, we'll we're gonna we're gonna act on it. But uh, for now, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out our podcast on Spotify, the War Crimes Ahoy podcast. Be sure to follow our Instagram pages at War Crimes Ahoy, our McCoy's Hub, and Homeboy Josh. And be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. <clears throat> really help us out. Anyway, we will see you guys in the next thing video. Remember. Wear your milk and drink your seatbelt. Yeah, wear your milk and drink your seatbelt. We'll see you guys in the next one.